Good to everyone. I'm Auntie R, and uh, this is a surprise. Um, at the time of recording, uh, the embargo for the demo for Sparking Zero has been released. I fully expected to, to go sifting through and find all the YouTubers and content creators and want to talk about the game and how to experience it and what it's like. But um, literally minutes ago, we have this seven minute long video that has been put out, like a producer's letter talking about, um, I don't even know, how many different players will you play, learn more about the upcoming game modes in Sparking Zero. So I um, mentioned in the last video, I want a dedicated trailer <laughs> talking about like that create and play mode. Um, it looks like we're just, we're getting it. Let me just, uh, there we go. See you after my, I'm not blown out. Yeah, so I'm getting what I want. So without further ado, we'll jump right in. The first um, minute is the trailer uh, from last time. If you want to see a dissect of that, make sure to um, click the recommended at the end of the video and we'll go through the breakdown of the Summer Games Fest trailer. But for now, let's just uh, hop in, I guess. Turn that up. There we go. I might be in the way, but I'm just going to read it anyway, unless you can't read it. The gameplay showcase. We had one of these before, um, just to show the actual like game in action. Yeah, October 11th release date, we knew that already. Thank you for your support and we'll continue to look forward to it. David's two modes, episode battle and custom battle. Hmm. Not really sure if, which we are not really sure completely. Oh, I, yeah, uh, we'll jump back in that, sorry. I'm, this is going to be a very pausey video because I, like I said, I didn't have time to prepare for this, so. Today we will introduce two game modes, episode battle and custom battle. Which we are not able to show off completely in the release date announcement trailer. Okay, so they're just showing off stuff they weren't able to fully get to. Okay. Hope you're happy to jump into detail and show you some more in game footage, which I am lovely. Episode battle. Single player mode, you take the point of view of eight different characters. I hope we get to see the eight different characters, including Goku and Vegeta enjoy famous battle throughout the anime. For each stage you're playing through the introduction before heading in to some of the most iconic fights from Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. Confirmation there that it is indeed um, Z and Super. I guess I'll let the full video play, I guess. I'll just pause it to read it. The number of stages you play vary by different character, which makes sense. Goku has the largest number of stages, beginning when he fights Raditz up until his fights in the Tournament of Power Saga. Very nice. Oh, this is the confirmation of a uh, Raditz Saga slash World Tournament-ish Goku. Um, experience part of the story from a first perspective. Yeah, I, saw the, I said this in the breakdown. Uh, as you get to see different cutscenes from the perspectives of different characters. On certain stages, depending on your actions and choices. Oh, okay. Players will be able to change the outcome of the story that differ from the anime series. Okay. Play as a character to experience these new and different episodes. Yeah, so you look like it's going to be for that like that segment of the story then. And custom bow. I'm so. If this is what I think it is, then I'm so excited to know what it is. In mode, players fight in battles that each have their own. They each have their own original scenes. With custom battles, there are bonus battles. In mode, we prepare several original battle situations developed just for you to enjoy. In this mode, some battles will have different victory conditions, and some might even have uh, event cutscenes pop up midway. So yeah, it is really is like you are just creating like a story mode fight. In edit mode, you'll have to freely set the characters you will um, to be played as, as well as the pre-battle and post-battle cutscenes to make your own original cutscene battle. Wow, this is really in depth. What the hell? What you may be able to upload and view online for the whole world to play. That is sick. Okay, so it's custom green text. Oh, even like uh, intros. You're able to edit existing content along with bonus battles is used as the base. Okay, so you can have custom. Like you can change different cutscenes. They're very like slotting actors into places, like I said. Right, episode battle and custom battle mode. Okay. Now, in addition to the game modes, also like well, local multiplayer battling, something we've been asked a lot about. I imagine uh, there have been. 
Our focus is the game, seeing how far we could get players to really become Dragon Ball series characters. Well, it sense because um, they wanted to be like a, you feel like you're in the anime. They wanted to show effects, just like the wind blasting around your weather, and then the weather charging, uh, changing just by you charging your key. The rocks and buildings are dynamically destroyed by the force of battle and take advantage of the power of the later generation of consoles. So, oh, look at that, bro. With that in mind, it's difficult to implement low switch game multiplayer while retaining these core elements. I imagine at least so. It, uh... Oh, we got the English shit as well. However, we have always wanted uh, for as many people to be possible to enjoy the game in various situations. Which makes me think, oh, as careful considering we decided to implement a Switch Suite multiplayer exclusive to the hyperbolic time chamber stage. Oh, we now we get to see the, um, now this is way new UI. Unfortunately, we had a slight inconvenience during character selection before split screen battle. Right, so I'm going to go back. As a character, like, wait, um, as the character selection was originally done with single player gameplay in mind, there will be unfortunately a slight inconvenience during character selection before a split screen battle. Two players cannot simultaneously select characters, only one player may choose a character at a time. However, we hope this will be players to enjoy local matches. So I think maybe player one selects both characters, which if you're locally, you play who cares. We hope this demonstration shows you unique points of the game. For yours, of course, you know, we cop that, we cop that immediately. Yeah, deluxe editions and the premium editions include the early access to let you play the game prior to launch. You need early access to six characters and one exclusive. It says exclusive, bro. I want to know what this is. I'm going to do a video, I think, just talking about this exclusive character. And so, lastly, we revealed trailers based on uh, character based on trailer games. So please watch those videos too. I was just. Um, just watch the trailers. Again, so all Dragon Ball Walking Zero release. So we hope to have your continued support. You truly do, guys. You really do have my continued support. Yeah, yeah, and that's the end of that. Okay, so we have a lot to go through here. Um, in terms of new stuff, this is the this looks like the the mode here. So you're going through. I guess you select the story, and then uh, I guess we'll turn this down. So what do we have here? Each stage, you'll be playing an introduction before heading into... So, yes, it says Saiyan arc here. So, it looks like, oh, this is the what if. So, you can see if a situation has what ifs before you go into it. So, start the Saiyan arc, and then there's a little... There'll be a fight. So, you know this little icon here? Uh, oh, you can't see my mouse. So, the red icon is looks like it's going to be a fight, and then this looks like a story mo um, mode cutscene in the green arrow. But it looks like this one just has story mode cutscene that has a branching path. And as we can see here, we have the names for as the split off. So it's like that's the main path it goes off on. And then you go down to do the what if. See, it looks like the first fight in um, his story is going to be Goku versus Raditz. I think this oh, this might confirm uh, Kamei's house as a playable stage. Yeah, I was say like, Goku's no match for Raditz. So maybe we're we'll going to play as maybe we'll play as Raditz for this. I'm assuming you'll play from Goku's pet and just lose. You see a new cutscenes here with Raditz. Cutscenes, I think we get some talking mid battle, and then we get the first person perspective, okay? Um, yeah, okay. You get that. Blah, 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 blah. You cut, oh my god, this. this I, I didn't want to say this, but. Um, Super Dragon Ball Heroes, the Switch game, the Kai uh, World Universe mission, oh no, World mission maybe, had some had its like custom mode where you just people just made battles that you downloaded, like just made like bosses that you fought, you downloaded them and used this very same format. So, uh, transformation restrict fusion restriction rules, switch limit rules, special rules. Okay. So yeah, we can see like you can set up like custom scenarios. So with like certain text, I wonder if you'll, you'll be able to hide this. Maybe this is just for um, like editing. Maybe this is just for when you just 
like uh, in the edit modes, you can just change that. So you could technically do the exhibition max for the world's best Earthling will be brought up. Mightiest Saiyan. Uh, what do you have here? Speed of Battle Defeat Beerus. Let's have a look here. Anything interesting on here? No time limit. This lad looks like a... Uh, something Beerus wouldn't... Yeah, he's smiling. You can see there. So, I don't know if you can set your character's emotions before this. Maybe, I don't know. Um, trigger condition. So, yeah, we have certain things that will happen midway through if you do certain restrictions and then very very in-depth i did not expect it to be like this in-depth for something like this um i mean look at this this could do an entire trailer on its own i'm not going to though because i've got the sonic stuff to do but yeah, you can take the cut scenes of they're doing certain stances oh you can set their expressions here yeah you can set their expressions they gather key and then you can like move the camera Slow mo. You can set the amount of frame something is. You can put something in slow motion. Screen effects. Intro effects. As the camera goes along. Set opening modes. Thumbnails. This is very, very in-depth. Yeah, this game, this game ain't ever going to die. Because people will just make this over and over again. I wonder if you can like, if you can set the custom health maybe for the characters. That would be really good. I imagine then what I was saying was true then that because that was on um, the set, um, the cell versus Vegeta and Trunks, that might still be a what if we don't know, but I have a feeling that that is um, a custom thing. I feel like that might that's probably going to be a custom thing. Uh, do we have anything else? Uh, just more gameplay of that. The nice destruction effects, boosting. Oh, yeah, the two-player mode. Nice. I guess the Goku Black here and God Goku. It seems like... Oh, this is also the Hypebot time chain has been confirmed, as well as, like, the Wasteland for the pod. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I did not expect that in the slightest um, to come out today. I expected this to be something that's talked about in a producer's like a couple of months. So, very happy we're getting this. I'm assuming because people got to try out and play the game that we know... <laughs> Like a lot of this stuff already so maybe some creators got to check out this um so yeah if you enjoyed this uh it's very off the cuff thing uh make sure to leave a like and a comment if you missed my trailer breakdown from a few days ago um go check it out it will be in the card in the top right of the more sparking zero section uh i'm sorry sonic fans i've been quite busy <laughs> So I'm able to get to all the, the Sonic information because a lot of stuff has come out. So expect um, if you're if you're looking for more generation stuff, next couple of days I'm gonna try it. So um, yeah, and we'll uh, catch you all next time. Peace.